Oh, hey there, YouTube. It has been quite a few months since I have had a buying video, uh, a mail day video. So in this mail day video, we're going to go over a few things I bought at a local store, as well as stuff that I bought online, which has been quite a bit. We're going to start off with some of the local purchase being Rush Duel cards. I don't really care for Rush Duel, like mechanics and gameplay and stuff, but some of the cards are pretty cool looking. So start off with that. I picked up this, I don't know, like Shatterfoil Monster Reborn. It's pretty cool uh, secret rare card destruction. A lot of these are just GOAT format related stuff or stuff that can be used in alternate formats. I actually picked up three of these legend secret rare, I guess, Sakuratsu armors. All very, very good looking that I will be using my GOAT format decks in the future. I picked up the super awesome Buster Blader. Another like Shatterfoil Ultra, perhaps. I picked up four Pot of Greeds because you can just never have enough of these cards. Three, four. Found a Graceful Charity, which this might just be the highest rarity of Graceful Charity to include uh, any of the core game stuff. And then the big pickups are going to be a Red Eyes Black Dragon, Summon Skull, who's my favorite card. I'm trying to get all printings of this card, and Jinzo. So I actually want three copies of this for an Edison format Jinzo deck. And finally, I also found this extremely rare, pretty expensive Dark Magician girl. So that's it for the Rush Tool stuff. All very, very cool looking. Follow up some other stuff I had. I picked up a Ghost Rare OCG Dark Magician. That looks incredible. And a playset of Ghost Relinquished. Look at that. So that's actually, believe it or not, that's some of the more low-end stuff. Even though, like, the Relinquished, for example, I think they're about $100 each. Um, actually, that stuff's kind of expensive. But now let's go into some high-end stuff. So I picked up... Two Ultimate Rare Dark Arm Dragons. I still need another one to go ahead and complete that set. Unfortunately for a lot of this stuff, or a few of these cards, uh, I bought them so long ago that I don't remember who I bought them from. So typically whenever I make a video, I always shout out who I bought it from. Some of these guys, specifically these, I don't remember. I know one was from R... Shoot, what's his name? R&T Trade or something on YouTube. I buy from him all the time. I spent thousands of dollars with them, but... Anyways, moving up next, I have a Retro Pack 2 Gores. And many of you are like, what's so important about that? Well, Retro Pack 2, Gores came as the exclusive card or whatever. It came with every sealed Retro Pack 2, but that was the limited edition. However, in the actual pack, Gores was also secret rare, unlimited. So that is extremely rare. This actually, besides Blue Eye Shining Dragon, might be the most expensive card out of Retro Pack 2. I think I've seen requests, uh, typically a little over $1,000. For the scores i think dark arms right now we're sitting about 400 each and this again you can only find secondary market sales uh like facebook groups or stuff like that i've only seen them sitting around like a thousand dollars or something like that so pretty close to that uh here's another very rare card that i finally got a play set one more is coming in the mail somewhere from europe but elemental hero heat so what's special about this premium pack 2 secret rare so this is actually one of those not misprints i guess but intended prints as a secret rare uh, was originally a super rare, but I did pick up a playset of secret rares. I promise you, that took a very long time to get that playset of secret rares. And this, actually, I have the card. This came from Crazy Deals. I was able to find it through them. From, sorry for pronouncing this, Jeru Zhang. I actually picked up some Max Rarity zombie cards. So one of them has my name on it, so I can't show it. Nope. Oh. I thought that this mail's off. Anyways, uh, two first ed ultimate or zombie masters and a secret first ed goblin zombie. So we'll set that right there. Moving on from Steve Lynn of Anime Pavilion, we have a playset of super rare yellow gadgets. So they were kind of cheap, so I just went ahead and picked them up. I still actually need a playset of green and red to match. I'm gonna move these out of the way and keep this more expensive stuff on screen. Um, from Steven Steele. So, uh, first time selling actually, but I guess he doesn't look like he put an inner sleeve inside of it. Uh, this is actually my other, my second elemental hero heat. Let me drop it out of this card container because this is pretty gross and he didn't put a sleeve inside. That's fine. Um, it's got a little, little bend in there, but no big deal. We'll pull that out of there. 
So there's one of the cigar heats in. Yeah, that's kind of gross. So Steven, if you ever watch this, uh, that's fine, but always put a penny sleeve or something inside to protect the card from this, the card itself, especially higher end stuff. From Please McGee, whoever that is, actually, I picked up the most expensive because I want to complete the set. Retro Pack 2, Shining, or Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. I want to complete the entire set of Retro Pack 2. As you guys know, I actually do have the sealed case, or sealed display, if you guys have been watching. So I went ahead and picked that up. And uh, I don't think I have too many more Seekerers. I think I mostly just had the low end Seekerers to get on the set, but Seekerers from Electro Pack 2 are, they're still Seekerers. Tough to get. <laughs> and they're actually from, what's his name? Let's see. From TCG Collectibles. I think it's actually a card store in South America. Maybe Mexico, I'm not sure. I picked up another. Retro Pack 2, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. So I think these typically sell around 800 to 1000 I'm not really sure on their price range. I don't, I'm not going to talk about how much I paid for some of this stuff, but just the general price range. I, the Heats, you'll never find sales data on the Heats. Very similar to the Gores. But these, I, I don't even know what the TCG player is, but I think on Facebook groups, you can usually find them 800 to $1,000 for good condition stuff. From Shannon Graham on Facebook, this is actually a claim sale. I actually got my third... Ultimate Rare First Edition Emergency Teleport. So luckily, I was able to pick this up before the card went back up to two, and they jumped up to almost two hundred or three hundred dollars a copy. Um, I was able to pick this up for <laughs> a much better price than that from his claim sale. So thank goodness for that. From let's see, uh, it looks like they blacked out the name. Oh, from Daisy Shopper, actually, great seller on. A great, great seller on TCG. TCG player, highly recommend. Daisy Shopper. I picked up a super rare Krebens. So that's actually my second Krebens. It looks like they sent two cards in this sleeve. I'm not sure what the other card was. Let's see what the other card is. Maybe it's just something to protect the Krebens. Yeah, just a judgment of the brand, whatever that is. So something to keep the Krebens from moving around. So I picked up that. So that's my second super rare Krebens. I think these are... Gosh, these might be pushing like almost 80 bucks or something. Super Rare Krebens is ridiculous. From No Limit Gaming. It's actually a local store in my house. Highly always recommend. I picked up two Dragon Shield Whites because Dragon Shield's the best. But more importantly, more importantly, I picked up the Max Rarity Copy, the play sets. So to finish off the play sets, I picked up two more First Ed Goblin Zombies, Secret First Ed, and an Ultimate Rare First Edition Plague Spreader Zombie. So that is the mail day, an absolute massive, massive mail day. Uh, I'll let you guys do the math on how much you want to add up some of this stuff costs, but I did pick up another extremely expensive, extremely, extremely rare card, even more rare than all this stuff combined, that will hopefully be in within the next two months, based on where I live. So yes, even more expensive than these Retro Pack Secret Rares. And a lot of, even like this stuff, a lot more expensive than this stuff. But let me know what you guys think. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and bye.